Greetings! In this video we will show you how to configure and use the trading DOM of our platform. Having chosen the instrument you are interested in, the account using which you will trade and the size of the position, you can directly start placing orders. How can you do that? Orders in the trading DOM are set in the bid and ask columns. You can both place a pending order or enter with market. You also have the opportunity to place an order for the best bid or ask. We will return to this later. In the bid column at any price we click once with the left mouse button and see a window for making an order. It can be turned off like any other notifications. We'll analyze it later. Let's confirm. Now we have a limit order sent. If we place buy order below the market, then there will be a limit. If it's above the market, then there will be a stop. Sell orders work vice versa. Above the market it's the limit, below the market there will be a stop. There are buttons at the top. Sell market, buy market, cancel all, trade out, all trade out. Let's start with the all trade out. We send a market order and it is executed. Buy market accordingly means to buy by market. Let's send it. Then it's executed. Since we have mutual orders, the position is closed. Cancel all means to cancel all given orders. We see them all cancelled now. Let's put one limit back. How can we remove it manually? We see the bid, two lots to buy. With the right mouse click we can cancel the order. The same with the order to sell. Right click cancel. All cancellations notices can be disabled. How to relocate the already placed order? Here are the pending orders to buy and sell. With the left mouse click we activate this order and transfer it to the price we need. All trade out button. It closes all positions on the selected account and cancels all orders placed on it. Let's open a buy position again. Here it opened. No complex orders are attached to it now. However, suddenly we may need to do that. So there is an add brackets button. We can add any complex order to the current position. In other words, we can bind the stop, profit, trailing as well as cancel all function when the sell stop, take profit or one of them works. Let's send it. Now we see everything is attached to the current order. Click all trade out. Accordingly, the market position as well as all orders that have been placed are cancelled. In the upper right corner we see the setting of a complex order. This is before opening a position. This function will be attached to any order that you will place. There is stop, trailing, profit and so on. Let's buy it. You see it's done. Now there is a profit stop order. Click trade out. Position closed. Let's follow on. Now let's consider columns in the trading DOM. Orders means the order column. We see what and where we put it. Today means the volume of the current day. It can be displayed both for the session. This can be selected in the options. For the day there is period of 24 hours. Or for the trading session. The time of the trading session for each instrument can be viewed at the exchange. Price means the current price. Be it an ask, sell trade, sell flow, buy flow, buy trade. This is the volume of traded contracts for a bid and ask. What is the difference between trade and flow? They got different calculation principle. Buy trade, sell trade. They accumulate during the specified time. We'll talk about it later. You may set time and options. By default there are 2 and a half seconds. Some use 10 seconds. At the moment there is an accumulation of volume. Best by bin and ask. If within 10 seconds the price doesn't come to these values, then later, when the price returns to these values, they will be reset and a new accumulation begins. As long as the price stays at these levels, while it returns there will be 10 seconds, the volume traded either by bid or by ask is summarized. Sell by flow is of another principle, 
Here the price will accumulate until this level is broken through in the opposite direction. You can clear the sell trade and buy trade columns by double clicking on the header of the column. Buy flow, sell flow cannot be cleared. The last day column is the column of the previous day. Week column is the volume of the current week. Last week is the volume of the previous week. Month means the volume of the current month. Last month means the previous month and the volume of contracts, as well as the delta for the current trading session or day. Let's go to the setup. We see the delta type. There is the delta of the tick direction and the delta of the aggressor. They differ. We have an informational article on the subject of the difference between the delta of these both types. Let's go on the control panel. The current price is above or below the middle. You can center it. Auto center means that if the mark is 10 or 15 prices higher, then automatic centering will occur, as you can see. Lock trade means a ban on placing orders. In other words, if its button is enabled, you will not be able to place an order by accident. We can also choose the type of order, daily or GTC. There is as long as you do not manually cancel it. Now let's deal with the settings. Buy best bid, sell best ask. Let's try to place it. What do we see? Immediate order on the nearest bid appeared. And then it was immediately executed. You can also sell best ask. The limit on the nearest ask is set. As soon as the market gets there, it will be executed. Reload means resetting all data. Hide the control panel. Setting limits. You can set limits the same way like everywhere on the platform. On all the bars that are available in the trading DOM. Let's set 70. The values in the bit column are selected. You can also highlight asks and so on. There is all limits are on the trade flow cell, trade flow buy. Moreover, the limits set in these columns are the same, the same values in both columns. They will be filtered both here and there by delta, today's volume, session, week, month, contract, last day, last week or month. Price scale can also be changed for any of the selected tools. Statement. Delta selection, hotkeys. For any action in the trading DOM, you can install the hotkey, the combination of which is convenient for you. You can turn off the columns that you don't need. When you turn off unnecessary columns, the DOM becomes more informative and operational. Options include selection of fonts, size of the DOM, day mode. Display of the volume per session or day. Let's select the session. Then you see that the value of the delta of the previous and the current day are changing. Here is the clear trade in milliseconds. There is 2500 milliseconds is 2.5 seconds. This means clearing by the sell trade and buy trade. We can put 10,000, the value will change. And then the value in the columns of the sell trade by trade will be displayed in 10 seconds, not in 2.5. Profit calculation means display of the current PNL for the last trade or bin and ask. Hide account name. You can hide the account name so it will not be visible. Hide available amount means to hide the available funds on the account. Hide current PNL. View ARC notifications. After sending the order, you can turn it off. Confirmation. Confirmation cancel. Allow section. If you disable these options, orders will be placed without any warning. The same way they will be cancelled. Standard color settings. Symbol lookup. Stop local alerts. If any of the alerts work, you can cancel it. Desktop. Stay on top. Account list means the list of available accounts. Risk management. LMI trade report. If you have any questions about this module, you can always ask us using the contacts on our website. Thank you for your attention.